And in the impact segment tonight, attacking Mitt Romney because of his Mormon religion. On May 11th, evangelist Bill Keller sent an email to his followers entitled, If you vote for Mitt Romney, you are voting for Satan. Because of that, the group Americans United for Separation of Church and State has petitioned the IRS to revoke the tax-exempt status of Mr. Keller's organization. Bill Keller joins us now from Tampa, Florida. I'm a Catholic. Would you object to me running for president or being president because of my religion? Not at all, Bill. Okay. Not, that, that's not what this is about at all. How about a Jewish person? Not at all. All right. So you're selectively saying then that because Mitt Romney is a Mormon, that he somehow satanic. Uh, explain that. Well, for, first of all, I don't endorse candidates. I don't tell people who to vote for, who not to vote for. That's not what I do. I'm concerned about spiritual issues, and I have every right to preach the truth of God's Word. I have every right to educate people on spiritual matters. It's Mitt Romney who's made his faith part of his candidacy. He's gone out and sought out key evangelical Christian leaders to be part of his team. And this was a perfect opportunity. Use him as an example to educate people on the fact that if you understand the teachings of Mormonism, it is inconsistent with biblical Christianity. But so, and so are a lot of religions. Sure, I mean, but, you know, you've got tons of religions. Mm -hmm. You could take anybody. But look, here, here's what I'm worried about here. The sure. Satan reference. It's sure. personal. Um, I think Governor Romney is a patriotic American. Um, you can say that because you're an evangelical Christian, you wouldn't vote for a Mormon. That's your right to say that, sure. okay? And I, w I would say I think you're being short-sighted, and I don't think that should be... Well, I disagree with you, but you're right. But once you say that a public servant like Mitt Romney or anybody else is vo like voting for Satan, I mean, you're way over the line. You're way over the line. Well, well, he, here's the point, Bill, and again, if people take the time to read what I wrote, they would understand quickly that I'm not interested in politics. What I wrote had nothing to do with politics. It was spiritual in nature. I'm an evangelist. I believe the Bible is the truth of God's Word. I believe that Jesus said he's the only way to the Father, and that faith in Jesus Christ is the only way to be saved. Okay, but there are a lot of people I'm, in no, this country, no. that, that there are Muslim people, Bill, there are Bill, Hindu people. Bill. And come on, you can't be, you can't be demonizing Bill. someone Bill. because they don't believe the way that you believe. I understand. Bill, let me finish. I'm concerned about the souls of men. And the, the statement of vote for Romney is a vote for Satan isn't saying Mitt Romney Satan. What it's saying is that by voting for Romney, the influence of Romney, bringing people into the Mormon cult will lead people's souls to hell. Bringing that's what people. I'm concerned about. He's not that's, bringing that's what anybody I'm into about. anything. I mean, that's oh, ridiculous. What, how can you back up an assertion that the former governor of Massachusetts is bringing people into his religion? How could you back that up? Simple. We have the better percentage of two full generations out there right now, Bill, who don't go to church, who are basically faithless. That's why you've got such a rise in cults like Mormonism, a false religion like Islam, cults like Kabbalah. People are out there searching. And when you have the influence of somebody that likes running for president or possibly gets elected to president, people are going to gravitate to that religion, oh and, and, and I'm very concerned about the souls of men, yep. that people fall into this false religion will be lost and go to hell. That's my concern, Bill. Well, look, your concern is your concern. You're an American, you have a right to say what you want. What you said, Mr. Keller, was irresponsible, unchristian, uncharitable, and flat out wrong. But we appreciate you coming on, taking the fire, and people can make up their own mind. Plenty more ahead is a fact